So how we're going to go about this one is first population change numeric. This is going to be births minus deaths plus immigrants minus emigrants. Um, sometimes you'll see it this way where they'll do B plus I minus D plus E. And again, if you distribute that minus sign, you would get the minus E and the minus D there. So either way is totally fine. The other thing is I could do this in my calculator and I put in 2.8 million and I need to know 2.8 million is that number. So once again, I need to know my numbers, millions, billions, etc. cetera. Um, or in all honesty, I could write all of these as 2.8 million. The deaths is 1.3 million. Emigration is 0.2 million and immigration is 0.1 million. So if I prefer that way, I can do it's 2.8 minus 1.3 plus immigration is 0.1, emigration is minus 0.2. And in the end, I'm gonna get an answer of 1.4, but I would have to go back and make sure I label it as million, not 1.4, but 1.4 million. So that would be my numeric population change. Second, what is the population change in percent? So for this, it's percent, my favorite setup, percent over 100 is part over total. And so I'm gonna do my percent is what I'm solving for, percent over 100. My part is this change, 1.4 million over the total population is 200 million. Million on top cancels out with million on the bottom, so I can just do it as 1.4 over 200, or you could do this in scientific notation. Again, another great thing. Or you could just put the number in in your calculator, but scientific notation would be 1.4 times 10 to the sixth, 200 times 10 to the sixth. And when I go and cross multiply and solve, I'm gonna get 0.7%. So 0.7% would be my answer for that. The next one says, what is the doubling time? So for the doubling time, it's the rule of 70. 70 over the percent gives you the doubling time. So 70 divided by 0.7. Again, do not make it, do not try to change it. So 70 divided by 0.7 is gonna give me a doubling time of 100 years. Next, we're gonna go to crude birth rate. Crude means out of 1,000. So I'm gonna to go to the birth rate is 2.8 million. We'll do it in scientific notation. So 2.8 times 10 to the sixth out of the total population, 200 times 10 to the sixth. So this is births out of the population, okay? Out of the population equals the crude birth rate if the population was only 1,000 or 10 to the third. When I cross multiply and solve here, I'm gonna get a crude birth rate of 14 births, or they sometimes will say 14 births out of 1,000. I would encourage you to pause the video and try to do the crude death rate on your own, and then replay, and then play the video after you've solved for it on your own. So for the crude death rate, I'm gonna take the death rate, which I'm gonna do 1.3 million over 200 million million cancels out is the crude death out of a thousand or ten to the third cross multiply and when I solve for that I get 6.5 deaths and I could even say out of a thousand out of a thousand people okay so 6.5 deaths out of a thousand um, what I don't like sometimes it's confusing because we already took this thousand in so sometimes they'll write it here with out of a thousand, but that's essentially what they mean. That is the crude death rate. Next one is natural population. So this is where I have to read very carefully and natural population means just factoring in births and deaths. So I'm gonna take 2.8 minus 1.3 and I'm gonna get uh, 1.5 million. 1.5 times 10 to the sixth out of the total population, 200 times 10 to the sixth is percent over 100. When I cross multiply and solve for percent, in the end, I am gonna get 0.75%. So that's gonna be my natural population change. So part over total is percent over 100 or 0.75%. I'm gonna now find the doubling time. Doubling time is rule of 70. 70 over 0.75%. 
And when I put that in my calculator, I get 93.3 years. So that is doubling time based off natural population rate. So 93.3 years. So next question kind of builds on that. Assuming the data was taken in the year 2020, in what year will the population be 800 based on the natural rate? So I start with 200. 200 doubles to 400. And remember, it doubles to 800. So this is one, two doubles. Two doubles, so two times 93.3. So if I take 93.3 times two, I'm gonna get 186 to 187. I get 186.6, um, so 186 to 187 years. I'm gonna add to it the year 2020, and I'm gonna get it's 2206 or 2207. It's gonna be the year that um, we would expect the population to reach 800 million. Now the last one here is saying not basing off of the natural, but basing off of the just population growth rate. I'm gonna come up here and my doubling time was 100 years. So actually I'll do this one in green too. Uh, so it was 100 years. So I'm gonna take the same doubling, 200 goes to 400, goes to 800. So this is two doubles, one, two doubles. Two times 100 is 200 years. If I take 2020 plus 200, I get 2220. So in the year 2220 is when I'm going to expect the um, population to be 800 million based off of the population growth rate, not the natural one. So those are um, uh, way, just more practice of doing these problems.